This is the future of software. This is the future of computing, where computers could write software by itself that is so complicated, no human could possibly imagine writing. And by working with humans, it makes possible new realities. Our mission, first mission, first and foremost, is to create a computing platform that is powerful for training and inference, that accelerates every single framework, that's available in every single cloud, on-prem and from every single computer maker, and just one architecture. One architecture so that all of your investments in software will be leveraged across this entire base of platforms. One architecture so that every computer maker can put their full might behind this architecture and know that there's a large market for them. And one architecture so that all the work that we do today will continue to benefit tomorrow and the day after and the day after. The work that we do today will just get more valuable every single day because the architecture will continue to be backwards compatible and the architecture will continue to grow. One architecture, the NVIDIA AI platform. NGC, all the software in the cloud, and it can run in every single cloud. It is multi-cloud, Amazon, Google, Azure, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, every single cloud. It runs on-prem and it runs on the Titan V in a PC. The most pervasive AI computing platform in the world. AI is the most powerful force that all of anyone has seen in all of our careers. And I feel that it is also the most powerful technology force that has the benefit, the finally the benefit, of revolutionizing the industries of Japan. I've had the benefit to see the server revolution, the workstation revolution, client servers, to PCs, to mobile, to cloud. But PCs can't help the car. A cell phone can't help robotics. And the cloud can't help large, heavy industry construction. Japan is the land of robots. This is the land where the, country, the, com the companies, the leaders of this country, are the world leaders in transportation, the world leaders in manufacturing robotics, the world leaders in heavy industry and heavy construction and surely applying that robotics technology to the future of healthcare. Whereas the IT industry moves bits, the industry of Japan moves people and it moves earth. Very large challenges. The fundamental technology necessary for these industries, as it turns out, is not PC, it's not mobile, it's not cloud. They're all important. But the fundamental technology that's necessary is artificial intelligence. And that's why I am so incredibly excited now for the future. That's the reason why this is such an inc incredible time for Japan. This is the golden ages of IT technology in Japan. And we're incredibly honored to partner with some of the best technology companies in Japan, the most important companies in Japan. Let me introduce you to some of the work that we're doing. We partner with Fujitsu, the number one computer company in Japan. Yoshizawa-san, the head of Zenrai, has worked with us closely to adopt the NVIDIA Volta into the Fujitsu servers. A heritage of supercomputers, the largest IT company in Japan, is now with 200,000 professionals serving this nation. We're now partnered with them to bring the AI, the NVIDIA AI computing platform throughout Japan. NTT Communications is the number one cloud service provider in Japan, has now also made available NVIDIA Volta, the NVIDIA GPU in their cloud. The advanced industry, advanced industry science and technology institute, AIST, 
responsible for some of the great breakthroughs in collaboration between science, government, and industry has adopted the NVIDIA architecture to create the highest performance supercomputer for AI in the world. 550 petaflops, almost one exaflop. It is the closest computer to one exaflops of computing for AI, 0.55 exaflops, 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 exascale computing we thought would not happen for another many years. And now, AIST partnering with us to build the ABCI supercomputer. Saigiguchi san is leading that effort. Inabara san and I, Dr. Inabara san and I, announced last year that Fanuc, the world's leading manufacturing robotics company, would partner to create a new type of AI for manufacturing. Fanuc's famous field system is now infused with AI so that it could predict downtime in advance so that customers have zero downtime, that has the ability to teach robots how to bin pick, and has the ability to detect surface, very minor surface defects if, long before it affects the products. Fanuc, with field incorporating AI, is now powered by the NVIDIA GPU. It was announced and shipped just this October. Incredibly proud of the work that we're doing there. PFN, Preferred Networks. A young startup with a genius CEO, Nishikawa-san, who is working on AI all over, all over Japan, and has created an excellent framework called Chainer. Chainer has been able to train a neural network in 15 minutes across 1,000 NVIDIA GPUs. Distributed training was able to create and train this neural network in literally 15 minutes. The amazing thing is this neural network, the ResNet 50, would have taken one month just three or four years ago. Just three or four years ago, it would have taken one month. And now, with all of our collaboration, the advancement of NVIDIA GPU computing, we're able to now bring down training time to just 15 minutes. The power of doing that is really profound. As a result, researchers could iterate and explore new ideas more quickly. But one of the most powerful new ideas is to use AIs to create AIs. Using AI to create AI. So in the future, there will be another AI that sits on top of these frameworks, and it will invent new forms of AI that is then trained and tested for effectiveness. So the fact that we can take training time down to 15 minutes is an incredible achievement, and we need it. And our partnership with PFN also resulted in us putting the PFN Chainer Network fully optimized, fully tested, and containerized, and now put on the NGC, the NVIDIA GPU cloud. Ichimura-san and his researchers at University of Tokyo are doing some amazing work. In fact, the researchers here in Japan has contributed 55 groundbreaking works into AI this last year. Ichimura-san and his team did something really quite amazing. This is one of the futures of scientific computing where scientific computing, numerical computing, physics-based computing, is fused with machine learning. Physics-based computing, first principle-based computing, algorithmic computing, is now fused with machine learning and deep learning so that it can accelerate the discovery of new science. Ichimura-san's work is related to earthquake simulations. It takes a long time to simulate an earthquake. But combining and fusing to these two approaches and using NVIDIA GPUs, they were able to accelerate their training time, their discovery time, dramatically. There's so many startups here that we're working with. Some 60 startups here in Japan. 60 startups, from PFN to Abijay, who's also developing a deep learning framework. 
Exa Wizard. Exa Wizard. I think it's an exoskeleton company that's teaching robot, robots how to articulate. L Pixel for medical imaging. There are so many companies here doing amazing work. Many of them doing work in the field at the intersection of artificial intelligence, robotics, and manufacturing and industrial designs, industrial products, industrial machines, which makes perfect sense because that's the industry of Japan. As you can see, AI from the most important companies, computing companies, Fujitsu and Entity Communications, to the Research Institute, AIST, to the world's leading ro manufacturing robotics company, to AI startups, PFN, to research. Groundbreaking work is being done here in Japan at this intersection, AI and autonomous machines. Autonomous machines is really the next generation of AI. It's the next step of artificial intelligence. 